And we are back again, finally, on the Brewers' March to October. And I guess the first thing that comes to mind to say is, oops, sorry. Especially if there's anyone who was really enjoying this series and uh, eagerly awaiting uploads because I, I don't know why. But man, it's like we finished the regular season, made the playoffs, and then the, the episodes of this have just come few and far between. I don't even really have an explanation either. I just kind of have been caught up in posting other things, mainly Pack Attack, and this series kind of got forgotten. So it's been, what, like two weeks now since the last one, and we weren't able to finish out this series. We, we lost that game to the Mets here, and now we're only up two to one. But I want to be honest, man, I almost see this game as a must win because we saw DeGrom in game one. I doubt we'd see him already here in game four, but if we don't, we're definitely going to see him in game five. And I, even though we won game one against DeGrom, I don't want to see him again. I don't even want that to be a possibility. So I really want to make sure this series gets wrapped up here in the first game. But one way or another, we are finishing the division series in this episode, whether it takes one game, two games. I guess it's also technically a possibility that that this is actually the last episode of the series if we lose somehow which man that would suck wouldn't it come back after two weeks just to blow it but i've uh, i've run out of things to say to stall the start of this game here because i'll be honest i'm a little nervous to get into it but we got to get into it man we have a 0-0 tie in the sixth inning here but we got two on base also though with two outs so we gotta we gotta get a hit here probably in the gap to get anything going right away so let's do it, man. Let's just rip the band-aid off and get in. And yeah, we got 25 speed on second with our pitcher. So it'll take a gapper to get him home, but we do have Yelich up. And I didn't see who was pitching for them. How did I forget to look? Man, I forgot how much we kind of have both sucked in this series, <laughs> at least on offense. They have Stroman pitching, so it's not DeGrom. So just a quick look at the stats here. Not only has Nola been pitching a good game, but he's literally our best hitter so far. Nola's got two of our three total hits so far, and Baez has the other one, so I'm assuming that's where this little rallies come from. And on their team, Stroman, yeah, I mean, he's pitching a better game because he's got six strikeouts and only allowed three hits. Dude, I don't why why have both offenses been so bad oh ho, ho! well there we go there's our offense first batter first swing back in the march to october and it's a three-run christian yelich homer that'll get us back in things here Man, and also, how rare is it that I actually hop into the game and cash in on one of the opportunities it gives me, especially with two outs? Oh, and Keston's going to strike out, but man, the damage has already been done. And honestly, with how good our pitching has been and how bad offense overall has been, this might be enough. Nola's got a ton of energy, so I say we just keep it going with him as much as we can. So I'm just, I'm thinking now, because Nola, he had to have pitched game one for us. And he's pitching again already here in game four. So I wonder why he was ready to go and DeGrom wasn't. Is that going to get caught? There we go. I didn't want to walk him, man, but he was being patient and fouling everything off. Kind of just throwing it in the zone and hoping he got out. It worked. Ah, oh, that's, that's no fun. That one's not cool. Oh, I thought we I thought we got our ground ball, but that was hit harder than I thought. Well, this is this has kind of gone bad here. Quick two week single well that one I guess you can't call weak. Nice, that's what we need. One more here. I'm gonna go back to the change, but inside. That got him. Perfect. I didn't want to give anything for him to hit, and he chased for me. He helped me out. There we go. Way too many more pitches than I would have liked Nola to throw. But he got out of it. No damage done. We'll see. He might be able to give us another. Ah, Narvaez. That was almost a good swing for that pitch. Oh, man. Another one to first. He's going to recover anyway. Man, I'm having trouble waiting back. He's only throwing 93. I got time to wait back. Oh, or we'll just roll over on the outside cutter there. All right, not a not a great inning there. 
<laughs> but we, we still got our lead. I am just gonna stick with uh, Nola here until we run into some trouble again. Or if we just don't run into trouble again, maybe he'll give me the 7th and the 8th. Maybe he'll finish the thing, who knows. Oh man, this changeup is working. There's what, like three strikeouts in the last, maybe even three batters that have gone down on that change? Another one! I thought Williams was the one who had the change. Oh, we'll just get him on the next pitch. Wasn't a strikeout, but he went fishing still. Same result, got the out, Nola threw seven scoreless. Man, I might even give him another. That's it for Stroman, though. We got to deal with Batansis again. He uh, he handled me last time. <laughs> Struck out the side. Okay, well, he's not going to handle me again this time. Gene Segura, first pitch. No doubt homer against Dellen. And I was just about to say that I, I forgot... You know, we, ha we would have to bat with Nola if I wanted to leave him in. But man, putting up another run of insurance right away like that, I might just keep it going with Nola. I think I missed that. I don't think that's going to sneak its way down. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to cheese its way down either. I I'm early on Dellen's fastballs too. I can't seem to time up these low 90s fastballs. Or low to mid 90s, I should say, because that was 94. Whoa, that, that was still pretty disgusting. That's fine though. Another run of insurance, 4 nothing lead now. We can get another inning out of Nola and not feel too worried about it. Honestly, at this point, I might just say it's Nola's game unless it becomes a safe situation from now until the end. Because even if we find our way in a stick, into a sticky situation, I trust our bullpen. Chafin, Williams, and Hayter? That should be an out, out number one. 12 speed, no worries there. Grounder to third, Shaw has got that, another easy out. Curveball Nola fields his position. We are three outs away from advancing to the National League Championship Series. Oh, and he walked me. He was scared there, 3-2 count, I fouled off some pitches. I, I just wanted to hit another homer, if I'll be honest. Okay, I mean that that sucks, but at least it didn't end up on the ground and as a double play. I went chasing up. Uh, oh wait, that is gonna get through. We're gonna send him to third then. I think we got this. Oh, I actually would have been out with a good throw. All right, maybe we get some more insurance here. I I didn't think that ball was gonna get through at first. That was a weird pitch. Taylor, that one's going to get down, and it paid off moving Yelich up to third. Tack on another run of insurance there. I feel even better now of trying to go CG with Nola. All right, we drew the walk. It's not going to help much because I'm going to be stubborn and leave Nola in. They're even going to bring in a new pitcher to face him. But he's finishing this game at this point. Jeez, <laughs> they brought in a guy who with an outlier sinker to face Aaron Nola there. That, that was about the toughest situation it could have been. All right, though, let's make sure we finish this off nice and strong here. I, I want to finish it with Nola, and now that we have a five-run lead, I think I'm going to say I'm going to stick with him until he gives up a run. Let's throw some strikes, though, man. Nah, you got to give me that call. Ah. <sighs> Attack him, dude. We got a five-run lead. There you go. Well, maybe don't let it get through, though. Uh, eh. Do I call it quits now? Uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and make the move. I said I was gonna leave him in until he uh, gave up a run, but that's back to back base hits here so two on nobody out i don't want things to get out of hand we'll go to chafe in here and if things get even worse then we we will have hater but this is the kind of situation i feel like Chafin's gonna thrive in take him like four pitches if even to get out of this thing there's the double play maybe yeah we we knew to expect that three pitches in Chafin gets two outs 
Ah, and they got, they just had to get one. Late swing out there to right. Lindor's gonna get the RBI double. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And the sliders chase hit out to second. Juan gets it there and we are moving on. I didn't have any doubts. <laughs> All right, hopefully, though, that game will will wake up our offense here as we keep moving through the playoffs because I, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do everybody getting one hit in the series again. All right, well, that is going to be it in terms of gameplay for this episode. I don't want to start the uh, championship series just in the middle of an episode like this. But I am going to see, we're going to see who we're facing, and then I'm going to do a little preview so we don't have to do it at the start of the next episode and we can just get right into it. So let's see here, man. I don't even remember who it could be. It was St. Louis or, well, the Dodgers. They, uh, they kind of at a glance, they got us beat in everything. They're the one team that's better than us when it comes to pitching they're one ranking higher than us for batting and they're a little bit better than us for fielding i am gonna look at their team a little bit more in depth here but let's see what this first game is looking like we're gonna have a two nothing lead all right they're gonna hand us game one let's just let's just get a quick glance at what our team stats were looking like we had yelich going uh five for 13 tyrone taylor he did he did okay i guess four hits we had gene segura with that homer and then everyone from that point is in the 100s or below so yeah man we got some big names here too baez shaw keston wong i guess even narvaez we got to count him because he had a good year they're all big parts of our offense they gotta get it going pitching though was definitely very strong i don't know how realistic it is but especially if we can just somehow use only these three guys that would be even better because Peralta is not bad I just worry about him only having three pitches so I think we only allowed four runs that whole series one run a game Nola gave up three must have been two in the his first game and then one in that last one after we had already brought Chafin in but the run counted to him Woodruff didn't give up anything in his outing and Burns gave up one and then our only bullpen arms we used were Chafin who gave up nothing and then hater who gave up nothing he didn't even give up a hit or a walk so let's see about the dodgers then man i'm, I'm gonna look at the pitching first because they were rated number one in pitching we gotta worry about kershaw walker bueller it's just their normal rotation or i guess i guess bauer too Ugh. So yeah, I guess starter-wise, that is a pretty solid team. But honestly, I would almost say the, the guy in their starting rotation that I'd be most worried about facing is Dustin May with that big-time sinker, outlier on the sinker. But I bet they won't even use him unless they bring him in out of the bullpen then speaking of the bullpen kenley he's not that great anymore wow he regressed a lot you got brew star who does have that outlier sinker but i feel like when i play online i hit him fine so i'm not too worried about him joe kelly same deal outlier sinker oh he doesn't have outlier this year okay never mind still got a hard sinker same with trinan no outlier though and then knable and they have they have Tony Gonsolin in the closing role. And they had him there for the whole year, too. 36 saves, a 1.77 ERA. He was easily the best pitcher in, the, in their uh, bullpen. Everyone else, though, was fine. No one was really that bad except for uh, Joe Kelly. And then I didn't really look at their starters. But Kershaw, I mean... That's a Kershaw year, 2.31 ERA over 200 strikeouts. He actually, without having injuries in March to October, pitched 241 innings. Bueller also had a pretty good year. Urias, solid enough. Bauer, good. May, good. Yeah, I mean, you really, if you look at their ERAs, they are like all so similar. Besides like Kershaw, Bueller, and then Gonsolin in the bullpen, and then Joe Kelly being above that it's like they're all clones of each other how about their hitting though what are they looking like at the plate of course we got to deal with mookie he had 31 bombs solid average solid on base 48 doubles though they got justin turner he regressed he regressed a, a lot actually but he still put together a pretty good season there they got seager he he's looking really good on on his attributes here man 34 bombs, 35 doubles. Bellinger before Bellinger went down. 
That's actually kind of funny though. Bellinger and Yelich were both the guys who as more and more updates came out just kept going further and further down but we both we got them both here still when they were good. So Bellinger a lot of power and yeah he had 45 bombs this year. Then they got Will Smith. He actually I mean he didn't play bad. Average almost at 200 good on base 28 homers but he lost his A potential. He was he must have been real bad against left lefties Muncy wow so he he must have been really good against lefties at getting hits but he must have had no power against lefties this year but 32 bombs Edwin Rios they've got well he's DH never mind so he'll he'll be coming off the bench and then Pollock he didn't have that crazy of a season it's not awful though but not insane and he regressed and then chris taylor put together an all right season too so yeah i mean they it's it's this just the dodgers it's this pretty standard dodgers lineup but that doesn't take anything away from it i mean they're they're a good team for a reason nobody on the bench really to worry too much about except lux had a, a decent season so yeah dude not a whole lot of a break here a lot of power on this team too versus both sides because even if you have somebody like smith or muncie who are way better against righties when it comes to power then you got pollock and taylor who are better against lefties so yeah this that'll be it'll be an interesting series especially if our offense struggles again which i really hope it doesn't but that is gonna do it here for this episode of the brewers march to october i'm gonna i'm gonna do what i can here to make sure it's not another two week wait hopefully it'll be in this same week that we get this uh championship series started here so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss when that episode comes out also make sure you leave a like for me on this one if you enjoyed it but yeah that is it so thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>